Good morning, everybody. Today I'm at beautiful Waterway Park, and this is where I'm doing my walk this morning. The reason I'm doing my walk here is my dog hasn't went for a walk with me in a week, and she's scared to go to the other park due to a lot of banging sounds. So here, there's not that much banging sounds. So I brought her here, and yeah. But today I want to talk about something different. I'm going to talk about some trees. <coughs> Alright, let me paint the picture for you. We, I, I walk many places, okay? And this is just one of the places I've walked miles and miles in. And from the beginning of summertime until now, my boys and I, and my boys walked with me, believe it or not, a lot of days here in this, this past summer. Well, we noticed something here in this park that kind of caught our eye. We noticed a lot of dead trees. Yeah, we're like, what? We counted up to eight or nine dead trees, and they're probably more than that. And it happened fast, guys. Because last year, these trees were perfectly alive. This year, they're dead. I might have made other videos about talking about the dead trees, but... Anyway, I got here this morning and I was walking. I looked over at one of the dead trees. I was like, that's got a number on it. Then I noticed another tree that had a T on it, which means it's uh, going to get topped. I was like, son of a gun. They're actually going to finally do something about it. Because that was one of the things that puzzled us. Why would my town leave these trees go the whole summer and then some and not remove them? I never understood it, neither did my boys. Now, I can tell you this now. Uh, I was working in tree service here for a while, guys. I'm not working for the tree service anymore. A good friend of the family's, he, uh, my friend Rick hired me on for a while to work with him. Uh, right now, he's got a younger crew, and they get way more done than I ever could have got done. But yeah, I, there for a while I worked in the tree service. So uh, is he going to be the one removing these trees? You never know. He might be. It'd be kind of cool if he is. But anyway, yeah. Here in a little bit, I will show you the trees as I'm walking. And we're going to check a tree because there is one tree that is dead. I didn't see a mark on it. But we're going to see if it's marked. But yeah, these trees are marked for removal. Sure enough, now... <laughs> Even though they have marks on them, it was marked before. Yeah, let me tell you about that one. Yeah, right around the beginning of the summertime when we noticed the trees were dead, we came back a couple weeks later and some of them had yellow ribbons around them. We figured they were marked then for removal. Well, guess what? After going all summer <laughs> without, with the ribbons, they never got cut. What happened? Did it fall through? We have no idea. We just thought it was kind of funny. They had them marked with yellow ribbons, but never cut them. Now, let's talk about what might have happened to the trees. I was just sitting there thinking, or actually I wasn't sitting, I'm walking. When I first started this video, was it blurry? I hope it wasn't, guys. If it was, my apologies. Because it's really humid this morning. And I know I just put my sunglasses on. I usually do when I walk my last mile because that's when the sun comes out. And they were all fogged up. So I hope you guys weren't fogged up. But anyway, what, what I think happened with the trees, it could be one of two things. Actually, it could be a lot of things. But what I'm thinking is, now where I'm at, it floods up a lot. And sometimes, on occasion, it floods the whole park. Yeah, it floods it so much, it floods it all the way up to the roadway up there. But that doesn't happen a lot. It may happen every couple years, but within the last two years, I know for a fact this park has flooded four different, four different times. Yeah, we had a lot of flooding within the last two years. Could that be what happened to the trees? Maybe. I don't know. I kind of don't think it is, but my, my boys do think that might be what it is. I think it's more so of a beetle. Let me explain. If you remember a video I did back about two, maybe three years ago, of another park I walk at sometimes, 
not a lot here, but sometimes they had a tree removal there and they had to remove close to 300 trees. Yeah. And that was because of a beetle. A beetle got in and killed every single one of them. Could that be what happened here? Very possible. You know, I would have to be a tree expert to know this. My friend Rick would know this. You know, the guy I work for. Me, not so much. My dad would have known this. My dad was smart with trees. Yeah, a little bit of tidbit of information, which is odd. My dad knew trees very well. And he wasn't a lumberjack. He wasn't a tree cutter. He just knew his trees. All he had to do was look at the leaf and he could tell you what tree it came from. <laughs> he was good. Okay, I'm on my last slap. And on my last lap, I'm going to show you some of the trees that are marked for destruction. And if it's a little bobby, overlook me. Because I don't really want to stomp if I keep from it. I mean, I slow down over on the other side. Because that's my slow down point on my last lap. But right now, we kind of show me as we walk by. Here's uh, one of them right here. I can barely see them from now. Okay, this one has a mark on it. I believe it says six. Now, the two trees, hold on, let me, the two trees, the one right there and the one over far back there, they're marked. This one's not, but they're also both dead too, so they have numbers on them as well. Now, I want to check one tree that's definitely dead and see if it's marked, and that's the one we're going to walk around. It's going to be right on my slowdown point. See, every time I walk, the last 50 feet... Uh, I, I slow down tremendously because I don't want to overdo. But yeah, that's three trees I know of right now. You gotta remember, there's probably a lot more, but this is only what I can see with my eyes. Okay, we're gonna walk over here and see if this one's marked. Let me show you. The one on the right, right there, as you can tell, it's completely dead. We're gonna walk around that tree and see if it's marked. All right, let's walk around and see if this one's been marked. You think if they marked it, they would have marked it right there. But they, oh, it's marked. <laughs> Has a number three on it. This might be my thumbnail. Has another mark on the other side. I don't know what that mark means. Some of the trees have that mark as well. I don't know what that means. But yeah, it has a number three on it. Now, some of them, like the tree down here has a T on it and I figured that means for it makes no sense I guess the T means they're gonna to top it let me show you the tree this tree needs to be cut down it's just as dead as the others this tree right here has a T on it and I'll show you the T in a minute and it's dead but yet yeah, this one has a T on it let's walk over here and look and I'll show you oh no it has a number that's not a T. Oh, good Lord. Back there, it looked like a T. It's not a T at all. That's a number four. But there's also a couple trees in here that have numbers on them. That one has a number. One back there has a number. And one over there has a number. Over here in the back of my truck where I do my water breaks, from here it looked like it had a T. <laughs> I don't know how I noticed this is a T. Here, we'll zoom into it a little bit, okay? Yeah, from back here, I thought it was a T. That's not a T, that's a four. Oh, there's the T. Right there, guys, look. There's the T. Whoops, right there. I'm sorry, it's bad camera angles this morning, guys. There's the T. Yeah, why was I thinking it was the other tree? So that's going to get topped. All right, guys, I'm going to drink the rest of my water and get home. Uh, today's going to be my super busy day. Super, super busy. So... Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, tree removals. Now, I will make a video and let you guys know if they removed them and when they removed them and show what it looks like then. But I'm wondering if they're going to actually remove them this time. Because they've been marked before. Some of these trees I've showed you are well, some of the ones that had the yellow ribbon around them. But they didn't do anything about it then. So, we'll see if they get them down with the next couple weeks. Until next time, come on! Let's get out of here!